And here to kick it off is Brooke Elrod from ATL's Little Spirit. Yay, hi Brooke. Hi. Yes, good Thank to see you. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm thrilled that you're here. We were saying, you know, whether you're a seasoned bartender or a casual enthusiast, you're gonna teach us something today. Um, so let's talk about if people wanna stock their home bars, what are some essentials that we need to have in the area? So if you want to stock your home bars, I definitely suggest having your starter tool kit. So you want to have your jiggers, your strainers, even tools, uh, mixing glasses, and shakers. That's going to give you a nice cocktail. So you got to start with the basics. Okay. Um, other than that, you want to start off with some quality products too. All right. We have a, a gin, a vodka, a rum, and a bourbon. Like those are going to be your classics. Okay. So stock your bar with those liqueurs, and then also you can buy. I mean these usually come together like sets mm -hmm. for your your cocktails yeah right? and there's plenty of websites too there's barfly there's plenty of online you can just do your research and find out okay. what suits you all right good to know so you shouldn't just pour the alcohol and count to 10. No, don't uh, do that. Or you can. <laughs> you, but can. you probably need to be more of a seasoned bartender yeah. to do that. All right, don't take the advice from me. All right, what are we making first? Rick? All right, so let's get into it. The first thing we're going to start out with, we're going to do a little coffee drink okay. to wake us up. So this is going to be a martini, espresso martini riff. Um, today we're going to be using bourbon instead of vodka. Okay. Because I'm a K Kentucky girl. I love so. it. All right, so we're going to start out with one ounce of fresh brewed espresso. Okay, and these are really popular. I know now everybody oh, seems yeah. to be ordering the espresso martinis. Okay. Then we're gonna add a little seasoning. So I like to call bitters. It's not necessarily bitter, but it also brings out different flavors. And I wanna bring out a little chocolate. Okay, all right, so just a dash of that. Two dashes of chocolate bitters. Okay. And then we're going to be using a brown sugar simple, two, or sorry, half ounce. Okay. A brown sugar that. simple. All right. All right. And then for espresso martini, you definitely need a coffee liqueur. So we're going to be using Borghetti. Okay. And we're going to be doing a half ounce of Borghetti. All right. I mean, I feel like if you do, now do you need all of these liqueurs on hand to make something similar or can you kind of cheat Not a little bit here? Not necessarily. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think just having a coffee liqueur, a good base spirit. Uh, today we're going to be using Noble Oak Bourbon. Okay. I think I have some of that. That's good stuff. Oh, yeah. All right. And there we go. Uh huh. See, count to 10, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And then in the shaker, all goes in uh, the yeah. shaker. So everything in the shaker, we're gonna add our ice. Okay. Give it a pop and then shake it. All right, shake it up. Here we go. Five o'clock somewhere, I guess. That's what we do on this show. All right, excellent. And then talk about the meaning of, I mean, this isn't your typical martini glass. So this is gonna be a Nick and Nora. And okay. from the stem down, uh, it's gonna separate your fingers because the cocktail is gonna be served up. Okay. Okay, good to know. I like. I always am interested in what glasses things are served in because I know that there is a particular yeah, reason for that. It just keeps the heat from contacting the cocktail because it doesn't have ice on it. Ah, okay. All right. Cheers to you. Cheers. Okay, and I'm going to take a drink while you talk about the second drink. We're All gonna right. Make. So the second one we're going to be doing today is a Little Spirit Classic uh, staple cocktail. This okay. is a rum old fashioned riff. So oh. we're going to start out with two ounces of San Teresa. This is an aged rum. Okay, excellent. And when you say riff, you basically mean you're taking... We're taking a classic and we're doing our own little spin. Yeah, we're amplifying yeah. it. Okay, great. All right, and then for the hmm. sweetener, we're going to be using uh, Liquor 43. We're going to do a quarter ounce of that. Okay, I'm going to get your glass ready because we don't have a ton of time. So should I just run this? And then we're going to do a sleeve. Yeah, okay. perfect. Okay. Work makes a dream work. That's right. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly, right. but give it a little spritz of mezcal. I love this special added touches, but that's I mean you can do this at home and really elevate your game. Yes. Okay. And give it a little stir, make sure it's nice and chilled. Or just go see Brooke. Either one. <laughs> mm. All right. And then we're just gonna give it a little spritz. Boop. Okay. All and right. we're going to top it with our Wu-Tang sticker. Oh, I love that. Oh, my gosh. This is so fun. Okay, cheers to you, Brooke. I love this. <laughs> this is the best day of my job so far this year. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, because yes. a little smoky Robin. Oh, that's so good. All right, let's talk about the last one quickly. Okay. We only have like so 30 seconds left. So the last one we're going to be doing is... Make it super quick. This is a super si simple cocktail. It is a riff on a Hugo spritz. Okay. But we're adding a little flavor of peach in oh, there. We're going to be doing a little bit of elderflower liqueur. Oh my gosh, it's like we have a line at the bar. We have to hurry. She's doing amazing. And okay. we're going to be doing a little Prosecco on top. 
Oh, I love this. And a little bit of soda water too. Okay, excellent. All right, slap a little bit of mint bouquet. Oh, nice. Now, why do you slap it? So it we're going to slap it, and we're going to add a little bit. It's going to express those aromas. Okay, let me just, yeah. let me just, try. oh, <laughs> clearly not, I'm clearly not seasoned. Oh, that is so good. I want you, here, you take that one. I'll All cheers right. you with this one since it's breakfast. Go. All right, cheers. cheers to you. Thank you, Brooke, so much for being here. Delicious. Thank All right. you for thank, having me. Yes, thank you for stopping by. All right, well, after the break, the doctor is in, the fashion doctor, that is. He's spilling the tea 